Welcome to the presentation of the study title Potential of the MOOCs of Media Works for the Formation of Learning Community. Elaborated in 2016 by Silvana Marchena, Erla Morales Morgado, and Vanessa Izquierdo. When we talk about MOOCs, massive online open courses, we need to be aware of the complexity of the environment. Since we are talking about thousands of people from different contexts coming together for a learning experience. In this sense, the purpose of this research was to answer the question, what is MOOC's potential for creating online learning communities that encourage collaborative learning and knowledge construction, taking into account the complexity of the context of the MOOCs and the limitation of communication tools established on their design? Therefore, the following general aim was proposed, analyze the potential of MOOC for the creation of online learning communities that encourage collaborative learning and knowledge construction. To address it was necessary to achieve a number of specific aims, which are shown down below. To conduct this research, the MOOCs a statistic for researchers everything you ever wanted to know was selected. This MOOC is from the University of Salamanca and it began in October 15 and ended in November 26th of 2015. It registered around 10,000 users of which 6,000 remain active and more than 600 graduated. During this training process, there was a high level of participation in the forums, obtaining 1,060 messages from 400 users, which were all taken as input for this study. This study was approached from a qualitative perspective. Therefore, there were seven categories and parameters used to categorize the information obtained in the forum. Each of them responded to a specific aim shown in the in this case, to identify the existence of a learning community, the categories were shared domain and identity. The parameters study for shared domain were diversity of participants, expectations and form to share information, while for identity there were membership and participation. Meanwhile, to determine the existence of collaborative learning and construction of knowledge, the parameters were for collaborative learning, exchange of information and organization of activities, while for construction of knowledge, the parameters were organization and interaction. And finally, to determine the relationship between level of interactions and type of users, we have the parameters appreciation, transmission and creation as level of interaction, while for type of users, constant active, occasional active and passive reader. The results of this investigation was a follow. The relationship between shared domain and identity is of correspondence. Both develop between each other. However, as we can see in the image, shared domain is the one that has more information coded in its parameters, because for it to exist, it has to be explicit to be recognized by other members of the community. While the identity can be a private process, not always expressed through the form, but is no less important for the consolidation of a virtual community. For the categories collaborative learning and construction of knowledge, a semantic analysis was used, where it showed the most commonly used words and expressions. It was possible to witness how the participants exchange information and communicate in order to solve different tasks of the coursework. Finally, as we can see in level of interaction, the most common form of message are those of creation and appreciation with only 10% of the messages were destined to transmit or share resources. Nevertheless, we can see in type of users that 97% of them were occasional users, while only 3% were constants. This shows that the majority of the messages in the creation level were made by occasional users. Finally, the conclusion of this study showed that MOOC has the potential to promote collaborative learning. Dialogues are focused on solving activities, while participants develop conversations that deepens the subject. Also, there was a high level of participation and support by the training team. Based on the experience of these moves, we established the following recommendation. It's very important to have a team that gives support to the participants, always guarantee respect among the community, and use a structure that helps organize the forum. On the other hand, to increase participation in the forum, we recommend users' profiles, practical examples, voluntary activities, and strategies set by the training team. To finish, we'd like to leave you with a quote by Nieves Segovia. In the center of education, transformation are people, not technology. Thank you. Thank you.
using Falcon.